What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. Today's episode we are going to be reviewing Clyde's Recoloring Balm. Great people over there at Clyde's sent me their Recoloring Balm sample kit. So we're going to try that out. I happen to have uh, some touch-ups on my Maserati seats that I need to take care of. So perfect opportunity to see how this product works. So let's jump into it. All right, so I sent this sample pack from Clyde, so let's see what we have in the package. All right, so in the pack, we got our coloring balm. We actually got two of those. Then they gave us a Mimorsa Rice and Cream Protectant. It makes it waterproof and protects the color that we put down. Then we have two packs. These packs um, consist of a foam applicator, a brush, and a glove. We have two of those. We have instructions on how to use the product. So first, I'm gonna take a look at my seat. I know there's some trouble areas and I'm gonna figure out what areas that I wanna cover. Now, I'm gonna do a spot treatment. I'm not gonna do the whole seat. It's black, so it should blend in pretty good. Per the instructions, the first thing you're gonna do is use a microfiber cloth and that's to clean off the leather so you can have a clean surface because like my seats, I clean them and condition them and treat them pretty regularly so I know there's gonna be a layer of protectant on there that I want to remove so the color bomb can penetrate into the seat. So to clean the surface, I'm just using a regular cleaner, leather cleaner, no conditioner or no type of protectant. It's water-based, that way it will dry up and not leave any residue behind. So I'm gonna clean this area here, being that that's where the wear and tear is and that I wanna try the color bomb. And if there's any other areas, I will wipe that down as well. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is open up the pack. Um, this is gonna have our foam applicator as well as our gloves. You wanna wear gloves because it's gonna get all over your hands, potentially, and you wanna have some protection. That way you can take it off. You don't have stains on your hands. So they did provide two of these, which was great. Foam applicator. A brush, I'm not sure what the brush is for, to be honest. And we have a glove. All right, so I'm gonna put the glove on first. Oh, nice, we have two gloves, three gloves. How many gloves we have? Four gloves. All right, glove on first, then we're gonna open up the bomb. The bomb is nice and sealed, that way you don't have any spillage or any lost product when it's being transported. So I'm just gonna remove the seal here. We have a lot of product on actually the cap, so I might just use that initially. As you can see, it's getting dry and the color is coming back. Well, the lack of black color, I guess, is becoming more and more present. All right, so here is the area right here we're going to work on. So I'm just putting a little dab of the color onto my foam applicator here. And I'm just going to, in a circular motion, rub this into that color. So the first coat I'm gonna put on there and then I'm going to see what we get. Like I said before, I'm probably gonna have to stack it in layers. All right, so like the instructions say, you wanna repeat step two, which is applying it, until you get your desired color. So we're gonna apply another coat, going in a circular motion. So I'm putting some on, and then I'm using the other side where it doesn't have any to kind of spread it around and make sure it gets it even. So it's starting to fill up with color. Using a conservative amount, not really a lot, which this may be a little bit much as I look at it, let me take a little bit away. All right, so just got the tip there and then I'm just gonna do circular motions. Okay, so this is what we have so far. It said if any streaking occurs, then you just take a damp cloth. So I'm just gonna put some water on here. Damp it up. Then you just buff the surface. So the streaking is gone now after just wiping it with a damp cloth. 
it's looking good. I still can see a little bit of the worn out spot. So I'm going to apply um, some more product there and just keep repeating until I get my desired darkness. And then I might do a little another buff with the damp cloth and then we'll let it sit for 24 to 36 hours. So tomorrow I'll come back and apply the cream. Okay, so we have applied the recoloring balm. We're gonna let it dry and see how it looks tomorrow. Um, the coverage looks pretty good actually. Can't see the spot, but you can see where it's at right here. I'm thinking that that's gonna go away as it dry and as it cures, and then we can you know, apply uh, the cream and that will bring out the shine and everything like that and protect it from future uses. But the coverage looks good, it's nice and black, and we're gonna see what happens. So I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Okay, so we've let the balm cured, and it's been actually 36 hours. I was going for 24 hours, but wasn't able to get to it, so it's been 36 hours, which is okay. We're going to go ahead, check the finished result without applying the cream, and see if we have coverage and everything looks good. Then we're gonna provide the Clyde's Reed Moisturizing Cream. So this will restore it and provide a waterproof sealant or protecting layer. And that way you can have, it says up to five years of protection on your leather. So let's get into it. So the Clyde's Reed Moisturizing Cream, it's like a, well, a cream is like a paste. We're gonna use a microfiber cloth to apply our cream. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit here. We're gonna go circular motion. All right, so a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just getting some of that excess uh, cream off. The consistency of the cream is really nice. It's not too soft and runny or anything like that, and it's not too hard. It goes on really easily, as you saw, and a little bit goes a long way. So this can look like it will last quite a bit of time. Now, once again, I'm spot checking, so I don't have to use that much product, but I really like how it is. I think that looks good. So the cream can be used to restore as well. So if you didn't use the balm like we did over here, you can just use the cream by itself. So as you see here, there are some light blemishes in the leather and we can use the cream and it can look like this. Nice, bright, vibrant black leather. So let me show you how that works. So once again, we just go take a little dab. Don't need much. Like I said, this goes a long way. And then we just Rub it in. And you can see how it begins to come back to life. I'm not putting any color on it, just putting the cream on it, the remoisturizing cream. Take a little more, you get this side. So it's not sticking to the touch, it doesn't feel greasy. It just feels nice and supple, like it should. All right, as you can see, it has removed those blemishes and now it looks nice and shiny. So you can see the difference between the side that I did and the side that I didn't do. It really restores that deep black finish and I really like it. So Clyde's Recoloring Balm as well as Clyde's Remoisturizing Cream are both great products in my opinion. Granted, I'm not a professional leather restorer or any type of professional interior detail or anything like that, but for your basic DIYer or even a professional, I think it provided great results. So I have the link down in the description to both products. If you wanna see more videos like this, check out these over here. And remember, do it until you can't. Until next time, I'm out.